with God was very outstanding. I said, one was Abraham. God called Abraham is what? God called Abraham what? He said, Abraham is my friend. When somebody calls somebody my friend, is trying to say that this person and I have a relationship. This is somebody I can open up to. This is somebody I can speak with. This is somebody I can talk to. This is somebody I can relate with. So there are many other things to consider about Abraham, but that is the f most um, outstanding uh, 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 caption God can use for a man. Say, this person is my friend. When we look at Moses, one of the things I noticed in the life of Moses was that Moses started his life with the voice of God. Moses was somebody who always heard God. Always heard God. If you read Exodus 3, you read chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 10, chapter 11, chapter 12, chapter 13, chapter 14, 15, 16, up to 17. All those 14 chapters. If you study from verse 1 maybe to verse 40 verse 1 to verse 30 verse 1 to verse 27 verse 1 to verse 29 verse 1 to verse 36 of all the different chapters you discover that more than half of the chapter says the Lord said to Moses 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 God spoke to Moses a lot if you read Exodus chapter 4 verse 15 he said I will show you what thou shalt say God was talking to Moses. Let me ask you a, a, a question. Do you see words? Do you see words? Words, what you see, do you see it? There's a level you talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and it becomes picture. You start seeing it. Why? Because you are seeing it as you are hearing it from the Lord. In First Samuel chapter 3 verse 9, what made Samuel outstanding was the voice of God. Speak Lord, for thy servant hear it. From the one. From the one. What made Paul outstanding? What made Paul outstanding? Was the voice of God. Acts chapter 9 verse 6. Actually, if you start from verse 5, Jesus was introducing himself. When he got to verse 6, he said, what would you have me to do? What is your assignment for me? But it started from verse 5, when the Lord said to him, Acts chapter 9. He said, and the Lord said to him, imagine the first day. The Lord said to him, I am Jesus. And he said, who art thou? And the Lord said to him, I am Jesus, who thou persecutest. I am, the Lord said to him. The Lord said to him. When Moses handed over to Joshua, the first thing God did in Joshua chapter 1 is, and the Lord said to Joshua, As I was with Moses, so will I be with you. Verse 1 Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass the Lord that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun. When Moses died, God spake to Joshua. Now, you're going to see when. Okay, let me show you something. Let me give you a. <laughs> go to judges this that's joshua 1 1 right let me show you something now i'll leave you to make the the experiment joshua 1 1 he said now after the death of moses re, listen to this the servant of the lord it came to pass that the lord spake unto joshua the son of noon moses minister did you see that did you see that after the death of moses the servant of the lord it came to pass the lord spake unto joshua the son of noon moses minister saying did you see that Judges 1 verse 1. Judges chapter 1 verse 1. Now after the death of Joshua, it came to pass, the children of Israel asked the Lord. Who shall go up against the Canaanites first? Joshua 1 1. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass, the Lord spake to Joshua. Judges 1 1. After the death, I came to pass after the death of Joshua. The children of the Lord, children of Israel, asked the Lord. One heard from the Lord. One asked the Lord. Before Moses died, 
he impacted somebody. When Joshua died, he impacted nobody. So Moses impacted you. So Joshua had God. Joshua impacted nobody. So the people asked God. But that's not the point I'm picking up. The point I'm picking up is most Joshua got direction because he had God. The people were in confusion because they don't hear God. They didn't hear God. Moses' strength was that he heard the voice of God. Continually, regularly. Isaiah 53 verse 11. He shall see this travail of his soul and be satisfied. The pain that Jesus would, would, have, would have gone through, Jesus went through it and satisfied God. So I can go through it. So it doesn't matter what I'm experiencing, what I'm seeing, what is happening to me right now. It's not what the word of God says. Because I have had God. Now don't forget, I told you, hearing the voice of God is a different dimension. You can hear God in your spirit, man. You can hear God audibly. That's a different way to hear God. But in case you are not in that category, the easiest way to hear God is to hear his word. If you want to hear the voice of God, read the word of God. When you read God, read God, read God, very soon you will hear God. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 5, every word of God is pure. Verse 6 says, add not to it, let his, lest he reprove thee and thou be found to be a liar. Add not to it, lest when he reprove you, you are found to be. There's no way I can't hear God. No way. Because I read God. Hear God. One of the biggest problems that we have is that people want to cut corners. You want to hear the voice of God? Addicted. Stop all this. Oh God. Oh God. Speak to my spirit. Speak to my ear. Study the word of God. As you continually study the word of God, one day, one day, somebody say one day. When God will speak, it will be like a dream. 